gainy and just a little bit more reverb. of you who do not know me, and for those who are listening as well, about dancing, about love, just anything that feels good.
can I say when I never felt this way? I'm asking you to. Take the very best of me for a moment and all eternity. And if you decide to take flight, I know you find. To be. Oh shit, my phone's going off. So unprofessional. <laughs> well, it's not nearly as loud as you guys, so you're wanting to speak. I don't want to play that song. I'm going to play a different one. I don't know if you guys know this. Well, of course you don't because you don't know me. Um, I'm new relatively Seattle area, and I'm uh, traveling with a singer. It's me and my singer, and uh, he usually does the vocals, and I do the guitar and whatnot. We've gone through a couple of drummers here and there, but it's pretty much been me and him since high school. We met in high school about six years ago, seven years ago. And we moved here about two years ago. I've been doing our thing, working a lot, keeping it real, playing around the Seattle area and whatnot. That's it. We've we've gone on, you know, many adventures, seen many crazy things. UFOs, aliens and shit, spirits, and all that crazy gnarly stuff. Who knows? A song about a UFO? We have a song about our experience. Um it's in a far different tuning and he's the singer and sings about it really. So uh, I'm not going to do that. And I'll be honest, I am completely unprepared for the show. I have no idea where it's going to go, what I'm going to play. I have no idea what my next song is. I'm just like bullshitting and throwing some words out there and hoping that I'll think of something on the way to me playing. I'm going to pretend I'm tuning it when it really doesn't need to be tuned. Like, yeah, sounds good, right? Sounds pretty nice. No, that's out. It's in. It's back in. <laughs> um, where's the sound guy? Is he far away from turning the reverb? reverb up a little bit? Is that possible? You know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just feels kind of weak on the treble end.
How much time do I have, by the way? Throw me a hand signal. Five minutes? What's this guitar here? Could I play it? Is it in standard? Could I use it? Could I do that? Maybe this one? This one's in standard and I can use it? Totally? Um, what's going to happen if I unplugged it? Is it going to go <laughs> really loud? Really? No, I'm, I'm straight right here. I'm straight in. Um, change of pace a little bit. Different guitar. Now I'm standing. Different tuning. Getting it all loosened up. We got some good music coming. All that good stuff. Free coffee drinks for those who play. I have a song about a love song I'd like to play. Here she comes, 300 pounds of fun. That's my honey bun. Three hot chicks rolled in one. Walked up the street. I see people staring at me. In jealousy, they was they were me. Then she turned to me, said the most adorable thing. Tonka want eat, Tonka want eat, Tonka want eat now. That's my honey bun. Three hot chicks rolling one, three hundred pounds of. I hate you. You have no place in my heart. You're stupid and you're ugly. You sit on my lap and fart. If it wasn't for my good friends, not sure they see in you. I sure like to change your ass for a new pair of shoes. Thank you. Thank you and good night.
I know. Just making sure you know. This as long as we're all on the same page, huh? Um, so, what do you want to do first, Grace? Sure. This is Isaac, we're part of a band that you may or may not have heard of. 
Oh, she's heard of it. Uh oh. Someone's heard of it. Hala. Vahala. Hala, hala. Sorry. Hala, hala, hala. No. <laughs> Might I take this moment to remind you that everything you're doing is being broadcast to the interwebs. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> this is Isaac Waring bringing you Bollywood. <laughs> Straight from Redmond, Washington. <laughs> oh, what song are we doing? By request. Yeah. Shall I do piano and strings? If you do that sappy church stuff, I'm going to throttle you. <laughs> so, uh, whatever.
Here's, we, here's one we like to do as a band. It's called Here's to the Afterlife. Oh. 
down. Thank you. Speaking of burning things down, you want to burn some stuff down? Right. Keep the lighters out of the hands of small children and us. <laughs> I like you, Nick. I'm 6'2", also. <laughs> I wouldn't try to fit under there. We've got just a couple more for you. Thank you, Elizabeth. For there she is. For having us out. I got a brother who tem tends to get uh, a little bit doomsday on me, and he's effective at it, so I tend to get caught up in it. So this is a song I wrote from that place called Last Night in America. Thank you. 
was for you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, one more for you. We're good to go. So we'll set aside the doom and the gloom and leave you with an upbeat tune. Happy CD release party, Liz. Mm, 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 mm,
grandma. And that's my dad. I didn't. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. You wear. She wants your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them. And this one over there, too. <laughs> They're everywhere. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, so I want to say something really quick. What you are sitting in right now is the coolest place in the whole world. <laughs> uh, Soul Food is the first and only place I've ever played an open mic. And um, Clint was the first person who was ever like, so when are we going to hear some of your stuff? 
and I almost cried because I was like, I don't write music. <laughs> and so now I have an album, so that's cool, <laughs> um, which you can buy somewhere over there for 10 bucks tonight only. They're $10 tonight only, so. <laughs> um, so that song uh, is called Merry Go Round. And I, I wanted to make a carnival themed song or a carnival themed album, and it lasted two songs. <laughs> because <laughs> my attention was like, oh, cool, something else came up. Anyway, <laughs> like now. <laughs> Yay, goldfish. All right. Um, all right, I'll play this song. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yay. All right, so I'm going to do a cover now, if I can remember it. me, which all of you do, you know I'm obsessed with Amanda Palmer. <laughs> 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 and you can sing along, Kayleen, <laughs> and Kate can sing too, um, but not too loud because it's me. So. <laughs> um, so Amanda Palmer is, uh, she's what I listen to before I start to write music, and my music is nothing like hers at all. She's like really angry and my music's just really sad. So <laughs> I guess, you know, generally the same emotions, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, 
Yeah, so if I can remember.
Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys want to hear? <laughs> No hidden track. <laughs> I do that. Oh, God, I got to do that one, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you want to be the very best. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, if I mess it up, please don't disown me. <laughs> okay. That's my mom and dad there. <laughs> All right, so I wrote this song for uh, Newport High School's graduation and they didn't let me play it. Aww. So, Miss Fisher. Fisher did want me to play it though, so she has a special place, special place in my heart. Yeah. Special place. All right. That's my favorite part. Oh, 
God, I haven't played this song in so long. Probably should have practiced. <laughs> we'll come back to that song. <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember it. This is like the coolest song. Oh, God, I'm really angry. <laughs> I'm so the beginning is my favorite part, so that's all that matters. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just making up new chords now. Nothing's the same as how we expect it. There's different endings and different stories that we've heard. She had fallen and died, and one man held her in the other two cried, and they laid her down. She kept on sleeping, she kept on sleeping through the night. I remember the chords. Now, hey, diddle diddle, the cat stole my fiddle, and he ran away with the cow over the moon. And he left me here by myself to clean the doghouse and deal with sexually frustrated cutlery. Of a rubber dub dub three men in a tub, they flew over the moon, they were chasing a star that none of them could catch. She kept on running, she kept on running, when they finally found her, she had fallen and died, and one man held her in the other two cried, and they laid her down. She kept on sleeping, she kept on sleeping through the night. But I'm a little too old for stories, aren't I? I've given up on my fairy tale ending. I'm realizing that I can't plan my dreams. And that's my bedtime reality. But I still sing a rub a dub dub three men in a tub. They flew over the moon, they were chasing a star that none of them could catch. She kept on running, she kept on running. When they finally found her, she had fallen and died. And one man held her and the other two cried and they laid her down. She kept on sleeping, she kept on sleeping through the night. There. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, all right. I'm trying to see if I remember it. write my music so it's all in my head and sometimes other things get pushed out when like the importance of being earnest and Moliere are being shoved at me. So <laughs> you have given me cake. I knew I didn't like you the moment I met you. <laughs> I'm just going to make it up. All right. if I can remember those two. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kate Sarn. Um, <laughs> so everything on the album is me, except for the cello and one little guitar riff that Carlo did, because he's awesome. Um, but the lyrics to this song, if I can remember them, God willing, and the piano part as well, were written by Kate McKnight. Um, and because I told her if uh, she didn't give them to me, I'd never speak to her again, because they were awesome. That's a lie. I love Kate. I would always talk to her. I love you. <laughs> All right. 
I love you. Well, you know what they say. Lint is a shell's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so here's this song, potentially. I'm going to intermission myself really quick with a different song that has nothing to do with anything except for that kid. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, I used to come to open mic mics here a lot. And Taylor was the first person besides Clint and Sarah that I ever met. And I instantly thought of um, this next song that I'm uh, going to sing a small portion of. And I rewrote some of it. And I was going to sing it at an open mic when he was here, but he was never here when I was here, too. So now I'm going to sing it. <coughs> There's a boy who works at Soul Food who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational because of many things. I go in at 9-11 and he smiles and says, how are you? When he smiles and says, how are you? 
I can swear my heart grows wings. So today at 9-11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper, formal way. So today at 9-11, when he smiled and said, how are you? I said, fine, and my name's Liz. And he softly answered, hey. And I said, my name is Liz. And some other words, anyway, the chorus is awesome. Taylor the latte boy, bring me java, bring me joy. Taylor the latte boy, I love him, I love him, I love him. <laughs> There's more, but I haven't sung it in years. And, <laughs> and there's a response from Taylor called Carol the Stalker Chick, so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Diver? Okay. I need my guitar. I play that too. This is Kate, um, and while we're setting this up, I'll give a bit of explanation to what's going on here. So, uh, as you just heard, Kate writes lyrics very, very well. Liz writes music decently, <laughs> and um, lyrics okay. So Kate and I decided that it would be fun if we did some stuff together. Oh my god, Cosmos are lighting. So, um, so we've been, we have three songs written, and they're awesome, and we're going to play one of them. It won't, like uh, it won't, it won't. <laughs> these will not, these are secret songs Ooh. that will potentially, hey Clint, uh, can I do something about my guitar and being quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> um, so Kate and I, in in the process of coming, trying to come up with a band name, have a very very silly one. <laughs> it is the best. So, so go ahead. Two two girls and a piano. No. <laughs> Actually, it's it's a guitar, Kate. Guitar. Guitar, not ambulance. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so, hello? Oh, I'm on now. Okay, yeah. great. Um, Hurry up. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, so we came up with these band names. This this came about because we were talking about the One Republic, and then Liz accidentally said the One Republican. <laughs> and so she's the One Republican, and I am the Namaste. <laughs> so we've got the liberal move. Yeah. That's the band name in question. <laughs> It's not that funny. <laughs> it's really funny. I find it to be hilarious. I giggle at everything, so it's all good. <clears throat> is there any way I can be louder? Oh, yeah, and we've also got Kick, which is Kick. Kate, Elizabeth, and Kayleen. <laughs> and Kayleen is our third Over member there. arm appendage, which is sitting she's <laughs> sitting over there. Yeah, but it doesn't work. <gasps> so... I'll tell you guys a story about what happened to me at the grocery store the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a really, this is a really good story. This is a really good story. So I went to the grocery store the other day, and uh, my mom had given me 20 bucks to go buy groceries. No, this was the one with 20. So my mom had given me 20 bucks to go buy groceries. And I have my $20 worth of groceries, and I'm standing in line waiting to go, and this kid and his mom is in front of me. And... The kid reaches out and takes my twenty dollars. He just grabs Ooh. it from my hand, <laughs> and that's that's all the money I have. And so I look at the mom and I go, "Excuse me, your son just took my money." And she takes the twenty and looks at the twenty and looks at me and goes, "I don't see your name on it." Boo! And gives it back to the kid. Thank you. So. I don't have any more money, so I go put all my groceries back, and I go out, and I had driven there, and she's parked right next to me, and she's unloading her groceries. So I reach into her cart and take one of her bags and put it in my car. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, excuse me, those are my groceries. And I look at her, and I go, I don't see your name on it. 
And you know what was in the bag when I got home? A bunch of crap, just like this story. <laughs> Liz Bender, everyone. <laughs> I Moonlight is a really Yay. awful stand-up comedian. <laughs> it's a good thing she's cute. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to do this. Don't give up your midnight job. <laughs> All right. What the hell is going on here now? <laughs> You're good. Yeah, freaking out. Right? No. No. <laughs> no it's I'm fine. playing the right note. Technical difficulties. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's it. Hey, diver, did you find something pretty for me? When you swam in the ocean. To the sea, you didn't make love to me. Hey, diver, bring me the biggest pearl of wisdom you can find. The biggest pearl of all, you're not so.
anyone know what time it is? No, take it off screen. Go away. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Liz. I love you. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I've already started work on my new album, and I have a song. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> okay. It's called Siren Song. Siren Song. I hope you all realize you're listening to unreleased material right now. times you say it, I'm not going to do that song. <laughs> What's the first song on the album? Oh, that one. Okay, I can do that one. Hey, Angel. Um, this is the, okay, so when I write songs, I don't know what they're about or who they're for, but I know who this one's for, so it's awesome. <laughs> I figured it out. And she's not here tonight, but. And we do love her. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Angel, can you get me out of here? Hey, Angel. 
can you help me disappear? Hey, angel, can you tell me what's wrong with my past? Hey, angel, can we take a walk back to find the words to say in the present? Because I run from these demons in human form called heroes. And I pray to my God that they won't catch me one day. And what's the preacher to do with one congregation in the church pews? And a more crowded one in the churchyard. Hey, angel, I've been running in circles nonstop, isn't it obvious? Hey, angel. Should I stop dreaming, move back to reality? Hey, angel, I fear my frame is here, but my mind is far away. Hey, angel, have you turned a blind eye to this sad, sad world? Because I run from these demons in human form called heroes. And I pray to my God that they won't catch me one day. And what's the preacher to do with one congregation in the church pews? And a more crowded one in the churchyard. Cause I run from these demons in human form called heroes. And I pray to my God that they won't catch me one day. And what's the preacher to do with one congregation in the church pews? And a more crowded one in the church yard. Hey, angel. Hey, angel. So, in all honesty, you should really buy the album just for that song. Eliza. Whose cell phone's going off? Eliza. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> That's a really, anyway. Um, because, okay, uh, he's not here, and I don't know if he's watching, but if he is, and if you are, uh, huge, huge, huge thank you to Matthew Eschbach. <laughs> who recorded me and made me sound fantastic and was like, no, 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 I think you should do harmonies on this part and then I'll make them sound really cool and like, woo. <laughs> 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 That's what the harmonies do in the song is, <laughs> um, He, Matt is an absolute genius and he's been my friend since like I was a sophomore in high school. And one day I was just like, hey, so I'm kind of writing music. And he was like, do you want to record it? And I said, yeah, and now I have an album. <laughs> That's where you, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm just going to do this. Thank you to Matt Eschbach. Thank you to Brian Shaw, and uh, he's not here, I know, um, and Marianne Eschbach for letting me use their pianos to record it. Thank you to Carlo for playing guitar. And Miriam Ko, I think is her last name. I actually never met her, but she plays cello on the album, and it sounds so cool. <laughs> it sounds so awesome. Um, and thank you to Kate for the lyrics. And uh, thank you to Chloe Allred for doing the album artwork. And for Kristen, I cannot pronounce her last name, that one, Sarah Sola, for um, designing it. And thank you to Sam, Unky Sam, for being British. And, <laughs> 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 and for, um, <laughs> I know I owe 100 bucks now. Um, and for, uh, what? I'll get to that for um, for printing everything and for photographing the evening and um, also the album was put together by me and Kate and Kayleen and Kelsey and Casey all my k friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 
um, half of it was in the backseat of my car on the way here. <laughs> and the other half was um, last night slash this m afternoon morning, because we did it till like three in the morning, putting the stickers on the CDs. Can you just hand me one of those so I can show people what we did because it's ridiculous? And then in one of them, there was a bubble, and I tried to get the bubble out of the flippin' thing, and it ruined the CDs. So now there's only, so this is it, ha! Yeah. And then you open it up, and it's cute. <laughs> See? And I put that, every single one of these, I put that sticker on, so. And Kate and I cut them out. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the test copy. Um, yeah, and they're 10 bucks, so buy them, because I'm broke. <laughs> you should have bought your machine. Anyway, um, I don't know. I, what other song? What time is it? How much longer do I have? Oh, God, I only got 10 minutes. Okay. Um, 10 minutes of awesome. Kate, what do I want to play? Oh, no, my improv is real bad. <laughs> Heaven can wait and has to shut a good No. Hitchcock? If I remember it. I know, right? That would be so helpful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, okay. Oh my god, if I can remember it. This is a cover. <laughs> okay. Only because I love you. <laughs> So I got my boots on, got the right amount of leather, and I'm doing me up with the black colored liner, and I'm working my strut, but I know it don't matter what we need in this world is some love. There's a thin line between the dark side and the light side, baby, tonight. It's a struggle, gotta rumble, trying to find it. But if I had you, that would be the only thing I ever need. And if I had you, the money, fame, and fortune never could compete. If I had you, life would be a party, it'd be ecstasy. Yeah, if I had you. <laughs> I don't know. It's Adam Lambert's song. It's not mine. <laughs> I know this next part because it's my favorite part. Girls in oh, I got it. Okay, okay. Uh, girls in stripper heels, boys rolling in Maseratis. What they need in this world is some love. There's a thin line between a wild time and a flat line, baby, tonight. It's a struggle, got a rumble, trying to find it. But if I had you, that would be the only thing I ever need. And if I had you, the money, fame, and fortune never could compete. If I had you, life would be a party and be a to see yeah if I had you the flashing of the lights it might get me high but it don't mean a thing tonight yeah the flashing and the stage it might feel alright but it don't mean thing tonight that would be the only thing I ever need yeah if I had you 
that money, fame, and fortune never could compete. If I had you, life would be a party, it'd be ecstasy. That's a pop song. I think I did pretty good for covering a pop song. He's, oh, Kesha? I will never cover Kesha. Tick tock, sing talk, God I rock, can't believe I pulled this off. <laughs> backing up, backing up. Well, I don't, what, what a, I'm running out of brain power, what? Oh, I still do. I just will never cover her stuff. I will. Okay, good. I cover it. All right. Um, I'll play this last song. I can't decide because my grandmother's here and they're swearing. My grandmothers are here and they're swearing in this song. It, it's not the F word in it. There's no F word in this song. I don't say it. It's other words. You were a tricky little bastard living in a house of mirrors And you're a stupid human cobra eating up all my fears And I can't live like this anymore I can't live in your fun house no more So come on, leave me at the carnival, my dear With cigar smoke in my eyes, I wish you were here So baby, watch my lips because I'm blowing you a goodbye kiss at this carnival and I give you my life, my love, my sweat, my tears And I've been picking up your shit for too many years And my life is topsy-turvy And I'm running around with carnies I get the feeling I'm abandoned here So come on, leave me at the carnival, my dear With cigar smoke in my eyes, I wish you were here So baby, watch my lips Because I'm blowing you a goodbye kiss So leave me at the carnival, my dear With cigar smoke in my eyes, I wish you were here So baby, watch my lips Because I'm blowing you a goodbye kiss At this carnival So baby, watch my lips Because I'm blowing you a goodbye kiss Operated boy. No, and I think that's it. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Yay. So, but again, CDs, 10 bucks over there. Y'all should, uh, I have no money. Please buy one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless love is $10. Can't buy me love. All right, I'm done. <laughs>